Hi everyone, this is the OC Drummer here, and today I want to showcase a video describing a topic that's been discussed a little bit recently, and it started, I want to say, a couple weeks ago when Grubby put out a potential hypothetical balance patch of things that he'd like to see change with the game. It might have even been a few months ago, some radical changes, some more conservative changes, and then more recently, Remo on the Back to Warcraft team also has done a balance patch and neo also on top of that has addressed some of the rumors of a patch incoming from blizzard themselves confirmed by mikey barra on his personal twitch stream and furthermore something neo brought up recently in a back to warcraft podcast was the potential removal the rumored removal of reforged graphics now I want to dive deeper into that because I think there's a middle ground solution that could be met instead that could have both the custom community, the custom game community, very happy because they love reforged assets. There's a lot of new models to use in terms of... You, you don't see this on the ladder maps, but there are thousands, potentially, at least hundreds of models... Uh, rebuilt from the ground up that are incredible to use in a custom game environment but in a melee ladder environment not so great and we can, we'll go into that a little bit here but a lot of the reasons that the reforged models haven't been great is being able to decipher which units are which in the heat of a battle so something not a lot of players know even though it was there were some forum posts about it and some activity on it in Hive Workshop is back in 2015, Blizzard themselves actually made HD versions of the Warcraft 3 assets and made them available in the StarCraft 2 map editor. And we'll, well, I'm looking at the Warcraft map editor now, but we'll actually go into the StarCraft editor here and we'll take a look at some of them. And they actually look pretty good. Now, in the StarCraft context, in the StarCraft engine, things are a bit different. And it's a little disingenuous to see what these models would look like in the WarCraft engine in this environment. Because the lighting's different. Some of the ways the particle effects are slightly different as well. The textures um, look differently with the lighting engine capabilities of the StarCraft engine. But what you can see here is the models themselves look pretty good. You know it's a Warden, you know it's a Priestess, a Keeper, and a Demon Hunter. And you go down to the human models, and these models also look great. Arc, Mage, Blood, Mage, Mountain King, Paladin. So all of these models in themselves, in their own rights, look great. They're very easily distinguished from one another, versus, whereas that's one of the pitfalls of the Reforge models. Looking at some of the Orc heroes, uh, these models continue to look good and keep the fidelity... And the uniqueness and kind of style of the original models. And we'll look at those in a little bit more detail in the Warcraft engine as well. And here's some of the undead. And you can also look at this from the gameplay point of view. And you, you get some of the similar perspective of what you would see in a ladder match. Units look pretty good. It's not like Reforge where it's very jarring, very different. And the same can be said when looking at these models in the Warcraft 3 engine itself. And this was made possible via some posts this year, actually, in the Hive Workshop. And uh, individuals who I'll credit later, I unfortunately forget some of their names, they ported the models out of the StarCraft engine and into the Warcraft engine uh, using Blender and a couple other methodologies to actually make this possible. So what I've done is took those models and ported them into the Warcraft engine using the asset manager here and following some of the tutorials on Hive Workshop. So in here you can see the Paladin, what it would actually look like in the Warcraft engine. Same here with the Crypt Lord and the Beatles. Standard definition on the left. SD Plus is kind of what it's being called Classic Plus on the right. Preserves the fidelity. The colors are bright and vibrant. They pop. You can easily tell what type of model this is. And this extends onto the Death Knight here. Very similar model, size, ratios all around. He's a little more hunched over. Same with the Lich. Lich looks great in my opinion. Uh, very similar, even down to like kind of the facial expressions. 
And then the Skeleton Warrior, another model uh, that was exported. So not every model is available. I would say probably only every... I think it's all the heroes and a couple buildings and a couple models. But I'd imagine Blizzard went through some sort of pipeline that made this scalable to do unless they manually went and did all these. But uh, in my opinion, they should have just hired this team to do these art assets uh, for Reforged. So I want to kind of hop in and take a deeper dive and a deeper look at some of this. So I'm going to present this just so it's full screen. So what I want to take a look at here is some examples of the 2015 models. We just looked at some in the editor. Compare them against the Reforged models. Kind of see what's going on, why it's so jarring and so difficult. And just, quite frankly, everyone just doesn't like them, especially in the melee and ladder scene. I want to look at some of these in the StarCraft II editor. We did that earlier and the WarCraft III editor. And then look at some actual battles in the game. Uh, and a couple examples of that, and then to top off where I think the game should go, and maybe where this is, is a compromise right in the middle of using the Reforged engine with some of the SD Plus models. So you can see here, here's a uh, kind of a static view of all of, or some of the heroes. You can see um, Dark Ranger at the bottom, also a couple creeps, Feral Spirits. So these are as viewed in the StarCraft editor. You can see some of the colors are a little washed out. They don't pop as much as the WarCraft 3 engine. Uh, Phoenix is there, Orange Bird, Water Elementals, Avatar Vengeance, everything like that. And also following along with this, you know, Infernals, Archimond model, Fellhound model, uh, shades of different colors, Skeleton Warrior up in the top left, even a Frog Critter. And some of the doodads, which we'll get a peek at as well. And I think the doodads look quite nice in the standard definition plus. As well as, I think, honestly, the Reforge models look great as far as doodads go. And I I haven't heard much um, negativity towards the environment itself. It was always, I think, mostly focused on the models and the performance. So the performance of the game did not perform well. You were lucky to get like 60 frames a second, even on like high-end machines with 30, 80, 30, 90 graphic cards. So the models and the engine very clearly not optimized. And also the fidelity and the identification capability, being able to determine which units is which and be able to kind of in the moment, multiple times a second, be able to tell which unit is which and make the right decisions in a battle. So... Looking at some of these units, you can kind of see why this is such a problem. You have Classic all the way on the left, Classic Plus, which Blizzard again put out in 2015, holding up very much to the art style and the direction of the Classic art style. And then you have Reforged on the right, which in a vacuum, in a custom game, looks great, but it's completely different from the Classic and Classic Plus design philosophy. And this gets amplified even more. Colors get washed out. It gets harder to identify. And these units start existing awesome in a vacuum, but not so awesome in the context of a Warcraft 3 game. So you can see Priest of the Moon here. Classic. Classic Plus. Very close together. The synergy is very clearly there. Reforged deviates into some other sort of direction. Illidan... Not so bad, but still, it's hard to differentiate what color Illidan is. You can very clearly see it, even more so in the Classic Plus models, as the tattoos were also colored, and so was the blindfold. Whereas on the Classic version, uh, that's not the case. Reforged, uh, a little bit harder to see here. Uh, and the Warden, I think, deviates a lot. So Warden deviates a lot from the Classic model. Uh, classic and Classic Plus, again, very close together. And these are all Blizzard models. Like, these aren't user generated these are all from blizzard um and then we can kind of look at some of the in-game representations of this you have standard and standard plus on the left and then reforged on the right you can see the deviation that was taken even at the level of the beetles there's there's more spikes there's more legs it's just a different art style different directions much harder to determine and tell at a moment's glance what the unit is death knight Again, although looks pretty good on the right, it's hard to even tell that that's a red Death Knight. And it re you can really only tell because the camera is pitched downward. When it's up, you don't see the red cape, the red shoulder pads. 
it's just very little red presence there where on the left side you could see the classic classic plus very clearly denoting what the unit actually is lich again very different floating tomes in the air uh much higher fidelity uh you know a lot more going on with the wardrobe whereas on the left sticking to the basics and paladin probably the worst offender uh in the reforged makeover uh, I th again, on the left, I think the SD remake of the Paladin is, is spot on. Um, there's really not much more you need here. And then they went with the model all the way on the right, uh, the Paladin over here. Uh, so some credits before we jump into some of the game. Uh, Hive Workshop, of course, continually doing great things on the custom scene, custom models, custom maps, anything you need, textures. Astroman uh, did many of the units, models, and textures. The conversion from the StarCraft II engine over to the Warcraft engine. Uh, Grenersh did the doodads, which we'll take a look at as well. And Arthas981 appropriately did the Death Knight model and texture. So without further ado, let's jump on into uh, the game. So one of the big complaint points of Reforged models is it's hard to determine... If it's a reforged, you know, what type of unit you're actually looking at in a battle. So, what I've done here is I've put uh, up against one another undead units of standard definition plus versus standard definition units. So, they're going to battle each other. I don't know what this guy's doing down here. Get back up. Uh, and unfortunately, some of the trees are missing here. I'm not sure why that is. So, we're going to go over... And we're going to battle standard definition units. And you can tell the units really don't get lost. You can kind of tell which units which in the heat of this battle. Standard definition plus versus standard definition units. I know where the beetles are. I know where the skeletons are. I know where my heroes are. The hero glows are there. Everything's pretty prevalent. I don't see any issues microing or dealing with standard definition plus units. So basically what we're saying here is I think standard definition plus and standard definition units can coexist together. And I think this should be an option going forward if the team had decided that this is what they want to do. So again, I think standard definition, standard definition plus, they both blend in pretty well together. So we're going to quit out of here. And what I'd like to do now is look at the reforged version of this and see why the reforged units are a problem. And then where I think we need to go, where we could go. So we're going to hop into here. We're going to go to properties. And we're going to flip on reforged graphics. And we're going to retest this map. So what we're going to see here first is reforged versus reforged models. And you'll kind of see the visuals get a little muddy. There's a lot more neutral colors, not so much like poppy, vibrant colors. But where I think we'll end up is somewhere you might not expect. So here we have reforged versus reforged on the left. And again, I think the doodads, the grass, the mines... This stuff looks pretty good. Like, it's not that bad. Now, some might argue that the classic graphics, doodads, and terrain look better and they pop more. And sure, maybe that's true. But I would say if I were playing on this map with these doodads and this environment, I'm not really noticing it too much and it actually looks okay. Another thing I think Reforge does well but needs a little makeover is the actual uh, UI. So... You'll notice the, the left side's cut out, so is the right side. You have some nice decoration on the actual HUD, uh, especially for Night Elf. So I think overall this looks pretty good. Now, when in Reforge, when you're battling one another, I think everyone would agree it's a little bit harder. Like, I can't even tell if this is a skeleton or a beetle. Like, the skeletons and the beetles almost look the same. It's very hard to tell what is what at you know at a moment's glance My has ended. and I think this is one of the big problem points for the reforge graphics very hard to determine who's who what is what 
and micro appropriately make the right decisions. I mean, you can see there's a lot of homogeni homogenization of what just Skeletal Warriors and Beetles look like. So, as unfortunate as that is, I think there is a solution to this problem. And I think there is a way for Reforged and for Standard Definition Plus to coexist. And I think that is here. So here is the Standard Definition Plus models inside of the Reforged engine. And this is where I think everybody gets what they want. You have units that pop. Units that are meaningful, true to the classic direction, in an engine that is actually futurized. You don't have pixelation around the circles of selections. Doodads look great. Terrain looks pretty good. And I think when you actually battle, you could tell who's who again. I know where my beetles are. I know where my skeletons are. Animations look great. The icons even got a little bit of a makeover. And yes, you can make the icons look a little bit better, but they're HD now. So I think, at the end, this might be a, a world where Reforged and Classic Fidelity can coexist. Now, everyone's going to have their opinion, and there will be the diehard classic fans that only want the classic graphics, and there's no reason to get rid of them. But I think what this suggests is perhaps there is a future where we should allow the Reforged Engine or the Classic Engine and then Standard Plus or Reforged Models. to You know, Standard Plus can be used in both. Standard can only be used in Classic. Reforged can only be used in Reforged, but Standard Plus can be used in either one. And I have a feeling, perhaps, in the Reforged Engine, if they got things optimized to where they needed to go, Standard Plus and Reforged graphics can coexist. Now, before we go, I know that who knows if a patch is coming out. Maybe it will, maybe it will not. But if a patch is coming out and if people are listening, whether it's on War 3 Champions team, Blizzard team, whoever... These models are available. They're made by Blizzard. They're on Hive Workshop. They're not all done, but Blizzard, if if you're out there, you can certainly finish up the work. I imagine the community, maybe there's tools now to upscale some of the older models as well. And I think combining the best of both worlds, the Reforged Engine and what it does well, and the classic art direction, what it does well, could bring a better future for the game in terms of art style and bringing a fresh new coat of paint to the game we all love today. Have a great rest of your day. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.